This is Michael Smith of MedPage Today. I'm speaking with Dr. Daniel Applebaum, who is Director of Nuclear Medicine at the University of Chicago Medical Center. Uh, Dr. Applebaum and I are discussing the issue of shortage of isotopes for nuclear medicine, which is being exacerbated in the next couple of weeks by the shutdown of a second reactor. Uh, Dr. Applebaum, the Canadian reactor at Chalk River has been shut down since last May. You folks at Chicago have clearly been coping. Can you tell us how you've coped with the shortage of isotopes uh, as a result of that shutdown? Well, the, the isotope that, that is supplied to us has kind of a, a uh, to make it simple, uh, a weekly uh, decay scheme where, where it will, um, we have a kind of a cyclical weekly situation. Um, we get our tracer from our supplier. They're, they're well set up um, usually Thursdays through about Tuesday. The half-life of the tracers are such that by Tuesday afternoon, Wednesday, that's when we're uh, in trouble. Um, and we're, we're short for about a day. Um, and after that, we can um, uh, usually get an, our next supply. So we've been fortunate in that the, the outages have been um, relatively, um, uh, inf uh, not infrequent, but but short-lived, and we've been able to, to squeeze by. I see. Uh, let me, uh, sorry to interrupt there, but let me ask you, sort of, you've been uh, obviously rescheduling patients to some degree. Uh, have you been, re some places have been reducing doses, uh, and, and other places have been using uh, different isotopes that are produced in different manners. Uh, have you been employing those strategies? I exactly. Um, so for, for these short periods that, that we have essentially uh, no um, tracer, and the tracer we're talking about is the most uh, commonly used, probably the most important um, radio tracer in the, in the nuclear medicine uh, uh, world, Technetium 99M, um, labeled for lots of things, cardiac imaging, uh, bone uh, metastases imaging, um, thyroid scanning, bleeding scan, some emergency body type work for, for bleeding and, and cholecystitis. Um, it, it's used in a spectrum of diseases from the from the acute emergent to the more uh, uh, elective um, to things that can wait a little bit. So we've been rescheduling patients um, that are more elective um, that can wait. Um, something you may think about, you may not realize that can wait a few days is uh, a bone evaluation to look for metastatic disease. That's not a critical. That's not a thing you need in the next. 12 hours. You can wait um, uh, a few days or, or even a week or so. Um, and so we've been rescheduling those patients. Our, our pharmacy actually has been directing us if we forget and, and actually order something that, can, that they know can wait. They'll say, well, we're not going to give this to you right now. We want to save it for a hospital situation where it's more emergent. Um, the more emergent studies, we can shift to tracers, which are not as ideal. They're, they're, they're suboptimal, but they're acceptable. Um, the, one of them, the, the the best example probably is in the cardiac imaging world looking for um, narrowed coronary arteries is we shift to a thallium based tracer which is slightly less optimal from image quality it also exposes the patient to a bit more radiation um, however um, both the image quality and the radiation exposure while not optimal are certainly well within the limits of acceptability um, and so that's uh, one example um, the, the final strategy that we've been employing is um, when we just simply don't have any tracer that's suitable in our area, we can send them for a, a similar type of test in the radiology world, um, be it in CAT scan, uh, MRI, or, or ultrasound, for instance, where they can get similar analogous type situation uh, information, but um, uh, that's acceptable. may not be optimal, but it certainly would be acceptable, acceptable in a pinch. Okay. Now, of course, that's you've had this uh, seven, eight, almost nine months... Uh, maybe more of, of, of shortage from the Canadian reactor. Uh, this week, the Patton reactor in Holland, which, also, which is one of five in the world, is shutting down. And that's going to cause a crunch uh, that almost a lot of people uh, are looking forward to with a little trepidation. Uh, is there anything that you can do differently or more uh, in the next little while? Are you expecting a crisis uh, to, to, uh, to occur? Um, we're, we're certainly nervous about it. Um, we've been going, uh, and what we anticipate is going from more of the same and a lot more of the same. And w when you suddenly have the situation that doesn't last a day or so, but lasting what, what they're anticipating to be uh, a week or several, um, suddenly you, you really can't push things off for 24 hours, um, and, and it becomes much more of a, 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 a scary situation. Um, We'll certainly be doing more, a lot more of what we've been doing um, as far as changing doses, rescheduling patients where appropriate, um, uh, moving things over to CAT scans or, or MRIs or ultrasounds. Um, but there will, uh, I, I'm 
concern will be situations where um, the nuclear medicine test is really the only thing of benefit to the patient and we simply can't provide it. Um, we, we may have to go back to uh, the good old days uh, before there were uh, nuclear uh, imaging agents quite some time ago um, and rely more heavily on uh, the stethoscope and the EKG and, and, the, and the patient exam um, to get us by. Um, but we're going to have our fingers crossed. Okay. Well, and obviously then, presumably, this shortage, despite your best efforts, could well wind up uh, affecting uh, patient care in, uh, in, in a negative way. Yes, uh, that certainly is our, our biggest concern, obviously. Um, and uh, while up till now we have not had any what I consider to be true uh, patient care issues, again, slight reduction in image quality for some of these tracers, slight increase in uh, uh, patient radiation dose exposure. Those have all been well within what I consider acceptable uh, uh, limits of toleration. Um, but um, we are, I, I am concerned that going forward when we have the more extended delay, we will have um, uh, a, 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 a situation where conceivably patient care could be impacted upon. Uh, we're going to have to all work together. Uh, we all talk about a team approach, but uh, this has certainly never been truer in this situation. Working with the pharmacies, uh, so they can allocate the, the tracer to those emergent situations, um, working with our other imagers in radiology, um, CAT scans, MRIs, ultrasounds. They may do, be able to do things for us that, that, that are new that we, don't even, uh, we haven't even known to ask yet um, in this crisis. Um, and we're going to have to work very closely with our clinicians to try to work around this, uh, uh, this problem um, uh, and really try to get the pe best patient information we can from all these types of avenues. Okay, well, thank you very much, uh, Dr. Applebaum. I wish you luck, and I wish your patients luck. Well, thank you. It's been a pleasure. I'm Michael Smith, MedPage Today.